Vince Shaman gonna keep the wrath in the living roots. Hey, Yasera on turn three. That feels pretty good, man. Yasera on turn three is always good. Nice. Okay, we're gonna go for living roots turn one. Turn two, wrath. Turn three, coin drew the claw. Okay, Agro Shaman. Still sticking with the Drew the Claw plan. Totem Golem. So it's not good enough here. Queen Claw is still good. He needs lava burst. Thanks, Creed. I think it's pretty interesting too, man. It's perfect for rank eleven. <laughs> Tuscar, no flame thing. Okay, that's fine. Good swipe. I kind of like ramping more than to Ancient of War, though. Maybe a little bit too greedy. I don't know. The thing is, swipe's just not that great there. All it does is kill a 3 4 and put everything at one health. Maybe if we had another swipe follow-up, I'd be more inclined to do that, but I'm not really interested in doing that for now. Hmm, I think Yasharaj is still fine. If you can cheat him out, then he's still good. Because of cards like Rag, uh, even like a 5-5 five five Ancient of War is better than nothing. The way that I see it. But yeah, getting like a Druid of the Claw would be bad, I think. Yeah, most of the time. Uh, I think that Swipe and Wrath are class specific though. But yeah, most of the time I'd agree with you. Living Roots I almost always would keep though. Always, I think. I don't really know if there's a situation where I wouldn't. Maybe against Priest I wouldn't keep it. That's about it though. So, I think we have to Swipe. Hero Power Attack in there, right there. Ancient of War is just not good enough because of Mana Tide. Can't let that stick. I was thinking about cycling with the Wrath, but Hero Power is fine here. Yeah, you always do keep uh, Integrate Wild Growth and Roots, basically. Innervate and Wild Growth, at least, you always keep. One on turn eight feels bad, man. That sucks. That's terrible. Sylvanas Wrath V03. I like that. I, have no time for games. I was thinking about Innervate Yasarge. Yasharaj. Gonna pass on that though. Sylvanas is gonna bait out the hex, which I like. Seems legit. Maybe we can stabilize. More Innervate Wrath. I don't even remember what my hand looked like. Um, probably because I'm tired. <laughs> That's gonna be my excuse. 
Why no more Innovate Wrath? Why did I play Sylvanas? Not too sure, man. Not too sure. It's right there. It's right there. I think that's okay if he, if that lives. Legacy Witch and then Yesaraj. Yeah, that seems fine. One and four to seal mana tide, which is pretty good. That's fine as well. No, I'm probably just, yeah, that's just straight up a misplay, man. Oh, faceless manipulator, let's go. <laughs> the the thing is, like, this is like a five mana 13 13 right now. So it's not really that bad. Lightning Storm. Even if he rolls high. Oh, if he has double storm, then we lose, right? Nice, okay. He gets two cards with the mana tide, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. It's not horrible. Nourish first. Draw three. Avian is nice. Avian and Arag are both good. We make that attack, right? We don't want him to have any more cards than he already has. Then we kill the Trog. We Avian egg, we innervate again with, uh, sorry, nourish again with a double, um, double innervate in our hands. So we draw three. This is going to be killed off. That's happening. Oh, n I'm so dumb. I can't think at all. Like, you need the 5 mana to play Aviana before you do anything. It's actually ridiculous how poorly I'm playing right now. I apologize that you guys have to witness this. I can still play Thorsten and Aviana, it's not a big deal. Our core is really big there. Eviana, Ragnaros, Innervate, Thorson, Cenarius. We make that attack because Reg does one more damage than the Arakoa does. Hero power, go face. I don't think it's worth considering. If he's running Bloodlust, I don't think he can run Lightning Bolt too. It is my logic. Like, yeah, mid-range plays it, but I don't think, like, the super board-centric version that plays, um, that plays Bloodlust will be running Lightning Bolt, too. Like, if you're playing double Mana Tide Totem and you're playing Bloodlust in your deck, I don't think you have room for Lightning Bolt. That's just my opinion, though. 